Every website needs a domain name, but how do you get one to begin with? Welcome to Hosting Your Academy, and in this video, we'll explain how to choose and buy a domain name. So let's get started. Not only does a domain name make your site accessible, it's also a great marketing opportunity. With a catchy website name, you'll get more visitors, plus people will be more likely to remember your brand. In most cases, you do need to purchase a domain name. That being said, you can get one free when buying certain hosting plans. For example, hosting your customers buying hosting for one year or longer get a free domain name as a bonus. However, in most cases, you'll need to get one separately. We'll guide you through the process from brainstorming ideas to protecting your domain from bad actors. So let's jump right into it. Needless to say, your domain name should be unique and align with your branding. You want a name that's memorable and gives visitors an idea of what you do. When choosing a website name, consider keywords in your niche. For example, if you sell fishing equipment, something like Angler's Avenue would be perfect. Now, a domain name alone is not enough to make your website discoverable online. It also needs an extension, otherwise known as a top-level domain, or TLD for short. So, you may be wondering, what is a TLD exactly? Well, it's the extension placed at the end of a website address. Take YouTube.com for example. YouTube is the domain name and .com is the extension. There are several types of domain extensions available. Generic top-level domains or GTLDs are the most popular and include extensions such as .com, .org, and .net. Country code top-level domains or CCTLDs represent a particular country or a location. Examples include .de, .uk, or .us. And finally, sponsored top-level domains, or STLDs. They are designed for specific entities. .gov, for example, is reserved for government bodies, and .edu for educational institutions. So, in general, pick the domain extension for your website based on its purpose. If you're making an e-commerce store, consider TLDs like .com, .store, or .biz. Or if you're going to be focusing on a particular regional market, go with a country code TLD. When you've got your domain name idea, it's essential to check if it's not already taken by someone else. This can be done with a domain name checker tool. You can find our domain name checker linked in the description below. And in addition to letting you know whether a domain name is available, it also provides alternatives with different extensions. And best of all, the tool will even give you domain name suggestions. Just enter a description of your business and check out the available website addresses. After choosing your desired domain and confirming its availability, you must select a provider from which to purchase it. These providers are called domain registrars, accredited by the Internet Corporation for assigned names and numbers. They are responsible for registering and managing domain names. When picking a registrar, it's important to note a few things. First up, let's take into account the registration period. Look for a domain registrar that offers discounts when registering a domain for a longer period of time. And keep in mind that domain names are not a permanent purchase. The maximum registration period is 10 years. So search for a registrar that provides a good offer if you decide to take that deal. You'll also want to make sure that your chosen registrar has flexible domain transfer policies in place. The process should be as straightforward as possible and involve reasonable fees. Also, avoid registrars that overcomplicate or overcharge. Next up, value for your money. Some registrars offer free additional services like hoist protection when purchasing a domain. So make sure to shop around to get the best deal for your money. Then ensure that the registrar can actually register the domain with your chosen extension. Each company has its own set of TLDs, so choose one that supports the one you've picked. And finally, check the registrar's quality of life features. Make sure that the registrar has an easy to use interface and 24 seven customer support. Also, ensure that the registrar supports auto renewal, so you won't lose your domain if you forget to renew it manually. 
If you need reliable registrar suggestions, check out our article linked in the video's description. Now that you've decided on a domain name, it's time to make that purchase. We'll show you how to register a domain with Hostinger since it ticks all the boxes we've outlined above and supports the majority of popular TLDs. If you've chosen a different registrar, don't worry, the process should be similar. So let's start from the domain name search tool. Click Add to Cart next to your chosen domain. You can also register the domain name with other TLDs right from the checkout. Doing so will prevent misuse by your competitors and boost brand awareness. Next, choose the registration period. And remember, the longer you register the domain for, the better the deal. Now register a new account or log into an existing one. Then pick a payment method and enter the details. Review the information and click Submit Secure Payment. Once the payment has gone through, you'll be redirected to the domain section of HPanel. Now click Setup next to the domain you purchased, review the details, and edit your contact information if needed. Then choose Finish Registration to proceed. Finally, you will be redirected to the Domain Overview page. It contains a section of domain settings, which we will cover in just a minute. But first, let's verify the domain's ownership. You have to verify the ownership within 15 days of purchasing the domain. But for this tutorial, we're going to do it right away. It's really as simple as checking your inbox for an email from the registrar and clicking the link for verification. If you can't find the email, go back to the domain overview page and resend it after double checking your contact information. Once these steps are done, you're good to go. And now you've successfully registered your domain. But one last thing to mention before we finish is privacy protection. When you register a domain, your contact information becomes publicly available on the Hoist database. This is done for transparency purposes. Unfortunately, it can also lead to spam and cyber attacks. And we really don't want that. So with privacy protection enabled, the registrar replaces your contact information with theirs on the Hoist database. Most domain registrars offer this feature as an add-on for anywhere between $1 to $20 per year. But with Hostinger, it's free. To check whether privacy protection is enabled, go back to the domain overview page. If you've clicked off, you can go back there by logging in to HPanel clicking domains and choosing manage next to your domain. Privacy protection should be switched on by default. If it isn't, just click the toggle button to enable it. While you're here, consider enabling auto renewal as well. This will protect your domain ownership if you forget to renew it, preventing downtime and redemption fees. So that's how you purchase a domain name. We hope it helps your website become a massive success. And don't forget to share your domain registration experience in the comments. We'd love to hear your feedback so that we can improve in the future. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Hosting Your Academy for more helpful videos just like this in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.